Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Elements tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the greatest new features in Adobe Premiere Elements 2022. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I wanna take you through what I think is one of the best new features finally for Adobe Premiere Elements 2022. And that is the ability to adjust your aspect ratio. So for the past few years, I haven't really seen any new features that have made me wanna upgrade the software until this year, until 2022 because finally we have the ability to edit in portrait and four by three. This is especially useful if you wanna take your videos and use them on other social media platforms aside from YouTube. Because as we know on here on YouTube, we live in the TV world in a 16 by nine widescreen type setup. But as soon as you wanna export that stuff to something like TikTok or Instagram, you lose that ability of using Premiere Elements if you have an older version because you don't have the proper aspect ratio. So let's stop talking about what we can use it for and head on into the program and I will show you how to use the new aspect ratios in Adobe Premiere Elements 2022. So one of the greatest new features in Adobe Premiere Elements 2022 is the ability to adjust your aspect ratios. And that is the exact reason that I actually purchased this program again in 2022. I've actually been editing on a 2019 version until this date. So when you open up the program to your welcome screen, you wanna click on the video editor, which is here on the right hand side. So click on that button there and that's going to open up your video editor. So now that you have your video editor open or what used to be called expert mode, you wanna to head to the top left hand corner and you wanna click on file, new project. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, you finally have all of the different aspect ratios for your different type of social media and they've actually done a very, very nice job of laying everything out here and showing you which each one does. So landscape, which we were always familiar with, it tells you right here, it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio, 19 by 20, and it's 30 frames a second. You can click on the drop down menu here and you have a bunch of different options as well. Then when you click on portrait, you can see it switches it to nine by 16. So all of you TikTok fans out there are gonna love that. You can see you also have the different aspect ratios here as well, including 4K, which is great. And then you can see here the square does the exact same. You have social, which says Facebook post, Facebook story, Instagram post, Instagram story, Instagram TV. They've done it all for you. So even when you click on YouTube, it automatically did it 19 by 20, 30 frames a second, 1080p. Now, if you wanna have a look at everything that's available, you just click on more and click on view all presets. So at the top here, you can see they have your settings by aspect ratio or by video standard. Since this video is about aspect ratio, we're gonna keep it on the aspect ratio here, but you can see these are also your video standards as well. So. In a previous video, we used to go down to DSLR, 1080p, and then we click on this one here at 24. But now with aspect ratio, we have so many more options. This is definitely the way to go and it gives you a ton more information. So here you see, I don't think I can make this any bigger, so I'll drag this over. Here you can see they've actually separated them. So you have landscape, portrait, social, and square. So if I click on portrait, you can see it's separated four by five or nine by 16. I click on nine by 16 and all of the options are here. So if I wanted to do one that was 24 frames a second, which you guys all know that I love doing my videos that way, that is here. That is the 23.976 FPS. Okay, so now that we've gone through all of the different presets, let's try and use one of them. So just for simplicity, I'm gonna select one of the presets here. So I'll select portrait 
and then you want to check this box. It's very important that this gets checked off. Force selected project preset onto this project. Okay, if you don't check this and you try to put a widescreen video in portrait, it'll actually default over to widescreen. So if you want your whole project in portrait, you need to select this box. So what I'm gonna do here is add one video that I filmed in portrait mode and one video that I did not so that you can see how the software handles them. Okay, so we'll open those two. So when I drag this one down into the timeline, you can see that it fills everything up perfectly. So it was filmed that way, it fits onto the timeline that way. Now, if you have a widescreen, or sorry, if you have a 16 by nine and you put that on the timeline, this is what happens to it. So it looks like this. So what you wanna do is grab the sides here and you can now pull that open to cover the entire frame. And if you go through it here and I can see, okay, we don't really see what you wanna see here. You can actually just drag that over. And now a file that previously I could not edit in Adobe Premiere Elements in this format, now I can. So I'm just hit play, and there you have it. Now I have a video that I can use on TikTok, as well as a video that I can use for YouTube, just by simply using the new aspect ratios in Adobe Premiere Elements. So there you have it, a welcome addition to Adobe Premiere Elements 2022. I've actually put a link in the description below if you wanna pick up some of the software for yourself if you don't have it yet. The reason that I like to go with the Elements software is there's no monthly subscription fee. I just pay once and I can install it on my PC and I'm good to go. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video and you learned something new, make sure you hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.